In this video, I'm going to provide you some tips and tricks to do a spring cleaning of your greenhouse. Now, as you can see, I'll step away a little bit. My greenhouse is in a bit of a mess and uh, it's about time I clean it up for the new growing season. So I wanted to at first talk a little bit about timing. Uh, it's right now at the beginning of May and to be honest with you, I'm about a month late mainly because in the early April we had still some cool weather and we had rain and it just wasn't the right time to actually move stuff out of the greenhouse such as some of my overwintering plants and some of the seedlings that I had started because uh, you don't want to shock your plants. Um, if it's still very cold outside, especially if you have freezing temperatures, if you have snow, then moving everything out of the greenhouse even for a few hours so you can clean it is probably not a good idea. Now the other alternative you have if you don't want to wait with cleaning your greenhouse is you can move stuff into a sheltered location such as a garden shed, a garage, or some other kind of uh, undercover uh, area. And the main reason is so that they at least are protected from, from cold and frost and, and any rain or, or snow, if you still have snow falling on them so that they don't get damaged. Now, you could also, of course, put them inside. So let's say put them in your kitchen or somewhere else. But keep in mind that if you move them from a cooler location to a very warm location, and then you move them back to a cool location, they could get some shock and some damage from, from just not being able to acclimate quickly in, with that kind of extreme change in temperature. So basically, uh, right now, I, the first step is I am going to move all my plants. Um, I've got some flowers that are overwintering and I've got some seedlings as well that I've started. I'm gonna move those out of the greenhouse and then I can start moving uh, other stuff out and uh, do a big cleanup. Tackling this corner first as it's uh, basically just overwintering flowers that are actually gonna stay out now that uh, temperatures have warmed up a little bit. So those go out first. They're not in the way of other stuff as I move other stuff back in. I'm also moving a few things around just so I can get at the plants. These are going into my garden shed temporarily. And I've got some larger planters here that uh, are a little bit heavier. It's important not to actually water your planters before you move them. I speak from experience and also maybe to prune some of the really long uh, stuff so that you're not having to deal with it. And then for this really heavy planter, I'm not going to lift it because I can't. Um, this is where um, you definitely need to get some help. And again, I'm having to move other stuff out of the way just to get this planter out of the greenhouse. And the most important thing is watch your back. Don't move something unless uh, you're confident that you can move it safely. And like I said, if you can get help to move really heavy stuff, then do so. And I'm going to speed this uh, up a little bit so you don't have to wait through the whole cleanup process. I'm going to leave that uh, banana planter in because that one really will be a pain in the butt to move and it's staying in the greenhouse. So that about does it for this area of the greenhouse. Now on to the other area. So these pots that are left over from last year being moved out of the greenhouse and I'll show you that this eggplant actually survived and has some green on it, so I'll keep that one. 
and the rest of the pots I'll reuse for new plants. Let's move the camera here so you can actually see what I'm doing on the counter. I'm just uh, cleaning everything up off the counter because the counter is pretty messed up. You can see in the back that there's quite a few spider webs. And so we want to clean everything off so that I can do a really good job of cleaning it up. And uh, just uh, grabbing everything, putting it outdoors. And then we'll be able to clean really well. I even use the top of my water barrel to store watering cans and fertilizer and such. So that's getting cleaned off as well. And uh, soon we'll be able to start actually doing the cleanup. And I use the bottom underneath my benches to store more stuff, things like soil and sawdust for my strawberries and the lime and uh, some fertilizers and such so but uh, this place gets pretty messed up uh, with spider webs and dirt and things that fall down so it's about time to clean this out and make it a little bit nicer to pull stuff out and uh, use it. Now the inside of the greenhouse is nice and cleaned up but uh, the outside is a bit of a mess. I probably should have started uh, early on to uh, put stuff a little bit further away from the greenhouse door because I'm kind of constricted here but anyways lots of stuff here and uh, most of it's going back in so Except for the, uh, the actual overwinter plants, they can stay outside now. And there are my seedlings. I've covered them up with a dome just to keep them warm. Whew, that was a lot of work. Uh, it helps if you can actually have someone helping you, uh, especially with that uh, large planter that I dragged out. Um, watch your back, obviously. Lift properly and all that. And uh, just take your time. And uh, the other thing that I made a mistake is that I didn't put stuff far, far enough back away from the greenhouse door. So I ended up having to kind of improvise and try to try to cram everything into the small space I have outside my greenhouse. So now comes a time when we're actually going to do the cleaning. And for that, I usually use my shop vac. Um, uh, just not don't use your household vacuum because. Unfortunately, there are things like spider webs, and I even found some ants here that I need to vacuum up. And so it's not the time to use your nice, clean, you know, Hoover or whatever other vacuum you have. Uh, so basically, I'm going to grab the shop vac, I'm going to plug it in and uh, start vacuuming like crazy and see where we're at. And then uh, there may be some places where I need to actually wash. Um, with a wet cloth i think the windows definitely and so forth so i'll get started on that and uh, we'll run the video quick and put maybe some music on it just so that you don't have to listen to the noise of the vacuum i'm going to wear earplugs because the vacuum is really loud <music>
to do a thorough cleaning job, I'm going to move this cabinet out of the little alcove here. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of mass behind there. And uh, spiders and stuff. I, thought, I think you might have seen one crawling there. Anyways, um, good vacuuming in this corner too. And uh, just getting rid of cobwebs and dust and such. It's not a pleasant job, but... I guess you just have to do it. Speaking of spiders, you probably just saw one crawling up the cabinet and falling down. Now I am vacuuming up spiders and uh, I'll just be emptying the shop vac into the garden so that they go back into the garden. And then using the long attachment on the shop vac to tackle the really high spots that I can't reach easily. So next, after vacuuming, we'll do some actual wiping down of different surfaces. And I'm just getting some hot water in a pail. It's great having hot water, running hot water in the greenhouse so that you don't have to go out into the house to get hot water. And some people do use bleach for this step, but um, in my case, I don't have too much mold or mildew or diseases I need to worry about. So I'm just using straight, plain water. And so yeah, just wiping everything down. My daughter seems to be picking some daisies there in the garden in the background. Making a daisy chain or a daisy wreath. So the other thing to do is before you start putting stuff back, make sure it's clean as well. And I'm just mainly using a cloth here just to wipe up some dirt and stuff and get rid of some spider webs. Uh, again, you can get out the shop vac to uh, do some more cleaning if you need to, but uh, these are not too bad, so I'm just using the cloth again. have a look and see if uh, we have a cleaner greenhouse so as you can see it's a little bit tidier and got rid of a lot of the spider webs unfortunately got rid of some of the spiders but I think they'll be okay we'll get some more coming soon and I'll empty them into the garden so they can walk around there my peas are still in the raised bed and in case you're wondering, all those plant pots that I had on the shelf and down here on the floor, um, I will be probably emptying them and uh, figuring out what I want to do with them. I'm going to be planting a little bit less in pots this year in the greenhouse probably. And down here too, a little bit tidier. And so just in general, just tidier and uh, cleaned up all right so all done took a little bit longer um, I haven't actually cleaned the greenhouse in probably at least two years at least well I do clean it here and there when I have time uh, and then the other thing is I had a lot of stuff in here so a lot of stuff left over from the last growing season and while I still have some of the pots outside that I need to um, bring back in once I've cleaned them up and refresh the soil some of them will stay out uh, not all of them will come back in here um, but at least now it's uh, a cleaner space it's nicer to work in but the most important thing is that i've removed uh, any pests that were overwintering and gotten rid of any like old soil or anything else that might actually cause disease in the greenhouse for this upcoming growing season so everything is uh, better um, and it's well worth the time and effort to do this. Try to do it once a year, try to do it early enough, and then um, you'll have a much better growing season. 
So thank you for watching and I wish you all the best of luck with your greenhouse. Take care.